I said my mind is spinning, baby, my grandmama dying. All these haters grilling crazy, man, it got me frightened. What is going on, you guys? Today I'm hitting you with a recipe video for a six ingredient chocolate and ice cream. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You can alter the ingredients based on your preference. So we're gonna start off with a splash of almond milk. Uh, this will just make it easier to blend up because you're going to be using some frozen bananas. So uh, you start off with just like a little bit of liquid to kind of help you start breaking down the other ingredients. You're also going to need two medjool dates. I prefer medjool dates because they are softer and easier to blend. And uh, they're also the peak sweetness in terms of dates, in my opinion. A dash of cinnamon just for a nice kick. And uh, of course, some cacao for that chocolatey flavor. Now you can use cocoa, but I prefer cacao because it's unrefined and it's going to maintain its minerals. You're going to need uh, one spotty banana, the browner the better. Um, again, we're looking for peak sweetness when we're trying to make this nice cream. And you're also going to need some frozen bananas. So I use about three frozen bananas and one regular banana. To start off, just put the scale under your blender to make it easier so you could just toss everything together while you're weighing it one by one. I was bulking during this period, so I did go pretty hard on the carbs. Now you can change recipe based on your diet, so obviously if you're cutting or trying to maintain maybe um, half the number of bananas. Now for the frozen bananas, I waited till they were peak ripe, so very brown, like the one that you see here before I froze them. So everything is going to be as pretty much as sweet as I can make it. So I ended up using about 407 grams of bananas. For the medjool dates, you're gonna to wanna to pit them before you put them inside. I used two pitted dates, which came up to about 34 grams. I changed the units, and again, just a dash of almond milk. Um, I ended up using about nine milliliters in that little splash there. One ingredient I forgot to mention earlier was some maple syrup. Now some maple syrup, kind of like the dates, is going to add some more sweetness. With maple syrup, it's very easy to go overboard and pack on the carbs, and we really don't need to do that because we're already getting the carbs from the bananas. And also, we don't need all that sugar because we're also getting the sugars from the bananas as well, and the dates. You wanna keep it similar to the almond milk. I just used a little drizzle, which came up to about eight milliliters. Now just a little bit of cinnamon. The cinnamon we're just looking for to give us that nice little kick. Um, we're not really looking to alter the flavor profile too much from the chocolate banana. And then you're gonna grab yourself a nice heaping teaspoon of the cacao. We're gonna wanna get that nice chocolatey flavor. So um, feel free to pile on a little bit more here. I got about seven grams. Now that you got everything in there, you can put the top on, plug the blender in. I'm using a Vitamix here, it's very effective. Now I'm just gonna let you guys know ahead of time, straight up, this is going to be the most bomb chocolate and ice cream that you've ever had. And one of the main reasons other than the flavor is just the consistency. We're gonna get that perfect soft serve consistency. And to do that, we wanna take it a little bit slow on the speed. Also, because we do have frozen bananas there, so we don't wanna kind of put unnecessary wear on the motor or the blade. Take the tamper and uh, press down so all the frozen bananas have been broken up enough to be caught by the blade. Look at that. Now, you don't want to waste one drop of this. Like, I just had to take a sample. It's too good to waste. Look at that, you see now that is exactly like soft serve. Dip your spoon in, 
no drip at all exactly like soft serve you get that consistency kind of that creaminess and it tastes just as good as it looks thank you for watching be back soon actually before i be back soon um i always forget to say this but please like my videos let me know what type of content you're looking for and um, I I'll see if I can supply it. I'm trying to grow in here. Let's connect. Let's build. Be back soon. Got me Mama told me hide my finances could they be spying. If we ain't in the jungle, dog, then why you lying? A bunch of lies.